I'm through, now what do I do? When you're done with an art project, this is what you do. Check with Miss Highland. I will say good job or go back and try again or maybe there's something you need to finish on your art project. If you're done, you can take your paper, put your name on the paper, and you will need to turn it into the buckets on the side of the wall with your teacher's name. If you don't have your name on your paper, your paper will get lost. So make sure your name is always on the back of your paper. A little chant I use to help me remember is put your name on your paper, put your name on your paper, put your name on your paper, and turn it into the bin. Now you can go to the front or the back of the room to play. Here are your choices. First, make sure you've checked with me and put your name on your paper, turned it into the bin with your teacher's name. You can do whiteboard, rubber bands, manipulatives like um, stacking sticks, whiteboard expo marker, reading art books, Legos on the carpet, or helping the teacher clean the room, and free draw drawing books. Here are some centers that you will find at the front of the room. Rubber band boards and wipe away boards. Two I'm finished centers you will find at the front of the room are erasable boards and pegboard rubber bands. Those are at the front of the room in a bin. The rubber bands are in a small container. Make sure you always have the lid on that container. The first one is erasable board. You can take it out, draw a picture, erase it by cleaning it off, and then returning it to the proper bin. Here's what it looks like when students use the boards. The bell has rung, they go to the front, put it away in the proper empty bucket and make sure that it's cleaned off. The next one is rubber band pegboards. There's, these are nail boards and you can take rubber bands to make a design. Take the lid off and you can make a design by stretching the rubber bands across the nails in the board. You can create designs like trees, squares, anything really, shapes, geometrical designs. Now once you're done, make sure all the rubber bands go back into these containers. The lid should be on nice and tight. Check the floor to make sure no rubber bands have uh, snuck their way out of the container and then place it right back on the shelf where you got it from. Here's what it looks like for a student to use rubber bands. You can make anything you want, and then when the bell rings, put it back in the cup, make sure the lid is on tightly so the rubber bands don't fall out, and put it right back in with the other pegboards and the rubber bands. Block Buddies. Another center you can find at the front of the room is Block Buddies. Block Buddies is when you take a card out of a box and it gives you a pattern to follow. You try to build that picture with using the blocks and you match the blocks in the box to the picture. When you are done, place the cards away gently, put the lid on, and put it right back on the shelf where you got it from. Mosaic tiles. Next center you can play with at the front of the room is mosaic tiles. Mosaic tiles is a group of little squares that you can use to make patterns in a can. So there will be a picture demonstrating how to make the tile and you will copy that picture using the little square mosaics. Building sticks. The next center you can participate in at the front of the room are stick connectors. These connects can go to the carpet at the front of the room. You can take the lid off and play with them. Now there are small little pieces that you can connect to the straws. Do not step on them or throw them or use them as a weapon. That will cause a lot of trouble. So do not use them inappropriately, which means they're not weapons. You can't step on them or knock them down. And then place them on the shelf when you are done. This is the incorrect way to clean up this center. Whiteboard and Expo Markers. You will find the whiteboard markers and the whiteboards on the shelf. When you use them, make sure you put the lid on and wipe them off with a rag or an eraser and put them back where you got them from.
This is the incorrect way to clean up. You don't uh, jab the markers on the board, don't throw them in the basket without a lid on, and don't leave it on the table expecting someone else to clean it up. Free draw. You can find drawing books here. You can also find reading books if you'd like to read. And free draw supplies are here at the front of the room. At the front of the room, you will find free draw paper. Free draw paper is when you can draw whatever you want during free time. Now at the back of the room, there's helpful resources you can use for free drawing. If you want to learn how to draw something, go to the How to Draw Book Station. On this shelf, there's tons of books that have ideas on what to draw. Animals, horses, people, sports, cartoons. Once you're done with the book, make sure it gets put back on the shelf neatly. If you're looking for something to color with, feel free to grab a bucket from the front of the room. Free draw books include animals, horses, dinosaurs, bugs, sea life, people, and fantasy creatures in cars and trucks. Make sure that you take your paper home with you and don't leave it in the classroom. Now here are some things I don't want to see happen to the how to draw books. Number one, don't draw in the book. We share these books with all of the students and these are not coloring books. Please get a piece of paper to draw on and not in the book. Here's some mistakes that students have made. They've drawn on the book and someone got paint on the book. Please avoid drawing with this book at a table that's messy. Reading books. I love to read books. If you want to read a book about art, go to the back art bookshelf and you can select a book off the shelf to read at a clean spot around the room. When you're done with the book, make sure you put it back on the shelf neat and tidy for the next person to read. Picture tiles. Picture tiles are kind of like a puzzle where you match the colored tile to the picture. When you're done, you can take off the tiles and start a new picture or put it back on the shelf. Tiles go in this small container and the pictures go back in the box. The whole thing goes on the shelf against the wall. Lego building. There are two spots for Legos. One spot is at the back of the room. You can play with Legos on the table or on the carpet. Whenever the bell rings, it's time to clean up. Please put the Legos back inside these two black containers with red cushions on top. Make sure every student has all the Legos inside before you put the cushion lid on top. Once it's done, leave it on the ground. These are also chairs or seats. Go back to your seat, ready to go. This is the incorrect way to clean up Legos. They left them there and they didn't put them back inside the containers that they were playing with them. At the front of the room are small Legos. You can play with those at the table or on the carpet. They belong here. Pencil sharpener. Sharpening pencils is another job you can help Miss Highland with. There's two buckets at the corner of the room at the front. One says dull and one says sharp. If the pencil is in the dull bucket, you can take it to the pencil sharpener and put it in firmly. Once it's finished, put it in the sharp can and other students can use it because it's ready to be drawn with. 
puzzles. There are two larger puzzles you can play with on the carpet. One is a safari puzzle and the other is a dinosaur puzzle. Make sure that you're putting them back in the correct spot. If I were doing puzzles, I would separate them so they don't get mixed together. The safari puzzle goes on the shelf on the side of the room by the pencil sharpener. And the dinosaur puzzle goes in the front of the classroom on the black shelf. There's a bucket for it with a lid and a picture of what the puzzle looks like. Make sure the lid is firmly on top and it's against the wall. In the back of the room, there is a brown table. This is for small puzzles. Two people can be at this station. At this station, you will take one puzzle out of the white basket, open it up, and you can put it together. You may use help from a friend, but only two people are at this station to clean up, put the puzzle back in the bag, and place it in the white basket. Classroom cleaner. The other job you can help Miss Highland with is sweeping or vacuuming the classroom. First, to take the vacuum and helping Miss Highland, you have to turn it on using your foot and clicking the button. You can vacuum around the room, in the back, and in the front. You can also go over carpets. Be careful not to break this. When you're done, push your foot on the button to turn it off and return it into the spot next to Miss Highland's desk, right here. Another job you can help Miss Highland with is sweeping. Go get the dustpan or broom from the side by the sink and you can sweep up any trash you find in the, on the floor. Put it in the wastebasket when you're done and place the broom back by the sink when you're complete. Enjoy centers and have fun.